quite often when you're working in Revit, you'll need to align things up. Uh, I've got three examples here. Um, there's a couple of sections of wall there. We may need to align the center lines of both elements so they're in a straight line there. Um, two opposite walls of a building, you may want to align the windows so they're directly opposite each other. And we've got a simple desk and a chair, and we might want to align the chair so that it's centered underneath the desk. So we've got a, a tool specifically for that purpose called the Align tool. It can be found on the Modify menu, on the Modify panel, and it's in the top left hand corner there, Align keyboard shortcut AL. Now the Align tool is a two-click tool so let's use it now work our way through these three examples so I don't need to select an object first I can just go ahead and select the Align tool so click on that there get a little Align icon next to the cursor now say this is a two-click operation and the order of the clicks is absolutely crucial. The first click should be on the reference you want to align to, i.e. the object that is not going to move, and the second click will be on the reference on the object that is going to be aligned, that is going to move. So let's say in this first example, I want to move the top section of wall, this one here, over so that the center lines are aligned. That means I need to do the first click on the object that's not moving. So if I hover over, get Revit to detect the center line. So I'll click now. That places an alignment line there. So we can see what, what we're going to align to. And now I hover over and just pick my second alignment reference. So we said we want to do the center line of both pieces of wall. So go and find the center line there. And a second click and Revit now brings that element over and aligns them. Moving on to the second example, so I'll take you through that again from scratch. Hit the align tool. Let's now move the bottom window over to the right to align the center with the top one. So in that case, we want to put our first click on the top window, the item that's not moving. I need to hover over very carefully to find the center line reference. You can see it highlighting there. Single click there. There's the alignment line. And now go and find the corresponding center line on the other window. And it brings it over and aligns them. And finally, the desk example. Don't need to select any objects to begin with. Just dive into the modify menu, modify panel, align. Find the center line of the desk. We're not moving the desk. We want to move the chair. Find the center line of the chair and click to have them both aligned. The two elements that you're aligning don't have to be parallel to start with. When you use the align tool, Revit will actually make them parallel and align them both at the same time. So. I'll demonstrate that now with these two instances of wall. So modify, align. I'm going to align the exterior faces. So hover over the, the first object. This is the one that we don't want to move. Remember, the first click is on the object that's staying in its current location. The second click is on the object that's going to be aligned. So now I can pick the outer face of that wall and you can see Revit rotated it and aligned it so they're now parallel and aligned. When using the Align tool we can actually align multiple elements all in the same operation. I'll show you that now. So Modify, Align. Now before I do that I need to turn on Multiple Alignment that's on the Options bar there. So I'll just put the little tick in the checkbox. I'm going to align to the face of this wall. That's the object that's staying in place. Now, because I ticked on the multiple alignment, I can keep clicking on objects that I want aligned there. So let's do the center line of that wall. 
let's get that desk over and bring the center line of that desk over as well. So a really efficient way of aligning multiple objects all back to a single reference. You may have noticed that every time I aligned objects using the align tool, a little blue padlock symbol appeared. That is a constraint padlock. That is the icon for a constraint and I'm going to show you how that works now and how you can use it to your advantage. So let's align these two windows again. Modify, align. I'm going to leave the one at the top in place, so pick up its center line. Go and find the center line of the other window. And there, before I do anything else, I can show you that little blue padlock symbol. So it's a little square with a lock at the top. It's currently unlocked, hence the little lock is over to the side. If you click on it, you can toggle that lock on or off. So that is our constraint. If we toggle it on, so I'm going to click on it, the lock closes and it basically then constrains that relationship that we just formed, i.e. the center lines being aligned. So if I just come out of the align command now, if I pick either one of the windows and move it across, the other window will automatically stay aligned to it because we've got this constraint set. Really, really useful feature in Revit. You can constrain all sorts of objects together. So in your design, it may be critical that these two windows are always directly opposite each other. So as you're developing your design, you may tweak the position of one window and you can have Revit automatically adjust the position of the other one accordingly. The Align tool is really useful in Revit and I'm just going to give you some real world examples of what you may use it for. Um, so just a, a demonstration project here. So as we saw before, you may want to align window centers. Again, remember that padlock, you can constrain that relationship should you need to. Likewise with our doors, so that door over to that door. If I switch to a ceiling plan, remember when we looked at ceilings earlier in the course, we talked about the ceilings being model hatch patterns with regards to suspended ceiling type. We can actually use the align tool to align the model hatch patterns themselves. So if we want this suspended ceiling to start from a whole tile against this wall, i.e. to get rid of this little sliver of tile here, we can use the align tool, we can align to the face of the wall and pull the model hatch pattern over. And again, we can constrain that. So should we adjust the external envelope, we know that the suspended ceiling will always start with a complete tile. Likewise, on an elevation, we've got model hatch patterns on the materials here for the external wall. So we might want to just tidy this up here and have this course start at the top of the door opening. So again, align, select the top of the door and adjust the model hatch pattern accordingly. So some typical examples of where you may use the align tool in practice. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point, you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.